Hey, what is going on, everybody? Well, this is Dylan of DSL Media, and today I am going to be streaming. That is right. <laughs> Gotta be streaming? Well, first of all, I'm going to be streaming Super Mario Bros. 2, The Lost Levels. So that, <laughs> and I also prepared myself with a little bit of a uh, tech a little bit of a uh, insider look, so to speak. That is to say, a look at the uh, games that I'm... That is to say that I, the games that uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese game, is going to be, like, based off of. But to start off with... Uh, yeah, to start... But to start off with and to start things off, uh, I... So this is based off of... Well, huh... This is the game I'm going to be playing tonight. That's right, it is... Uh, for Stable internet out there. But one thing I can tell you right now is that I do, at the very least... Uh, I do at the very... I did at the very least uh, get a new capture card that is connected through the camera. Uh, that's connect yeah, that's connected through my DSLR camera. Um, my concern, though, is that the internet still might not be the greatest. I'm still looking for ways to uh, get around, like, the internet disconnecting. So if things like that happen, I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, this... But yeah, uh... And that disconnect was the fault of my mic dropping. It just like tipped over, woo! Landed on the capture card that that this was street that uh, that I had streaming on, that I have connected to my laptop, and huh, well, uh, and then like it briefly disconnected from my camera. But this capture card should be well, huh, should be better than uh, should be better than what I was using with the Elgato card. Um, and right now I'm just checking social media a bit. Not, 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 I'm not like just doing it for the sake of like ignoring, but just to kind of like, just for like stability things, just checking on the video and, uh, and just like sharing my uh, video um, or sharing the stream uh, around, around social, uh, around my social media. So that's something, so that's something that I'm gonna be doing. For like the first, I don't know, five minutes of this. And I think I'll start with the... I think it's going to be around 7.30 Pacific Standard Time that I'm going to start talking about the Mario 10 uh, announcements. And um, that should probably be short because there wasn't a whole lot that, that was announced. There was just like a few things, but I'll still be talking about that. And then I will be... Uh, and then I will be... Uh, yeah, and then, uh, and then I will start by, and then I will start by getting on down to this game. Yep. Uh, so, and I think I'm gonna, like, talk a bit more about it in just, in just a moment. Uh, as I'm, as I first share the stream on my social pages, and then after I do so, then, uh, I will start with kind of just a little bit of a tech showcase and just... Kind of the history of this game. Uh, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, so just give me a minute here. Give me a minute as I, as I set things up. Uh, and also just... Oh, and I also got to check on my, on my end to see if I can go to the live video. Because I want to see if it's actually working. Wait, is it working? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Technical difficulties. Possible technical difficulties. Okay, no, it does seem to be working. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just doing a little bit of troubleshooting of my own. Yeah, I've been kind of doing a, bit of, a little bit of troubleshooting on my own, and um, and then I will 
and then I'll post on Twitter, and then I will be done with uh, reconnect the uh, capture card, and that would be a bit annoying. Here, it might do the same thing, but all I really have to do is just unplug that cable and plug it back in, and I should be good to go. So it shouldn't be as much of a hassle as it was before. So, yeah, um, so any, so anyway, I'll just check my post real quick. Okay, all right, that got posted. So before, <clears throat> so before I begin with the Mario 10 day announcements that has happened or giving my thoughts about it, I'll first do a little bit of a technical, <clears throat> a little bit of a tech showcase and just Kind of going over just a bit of the history of this game. Uh, so, this was released in Japan uh, as the sequel for Super Mario Brothers. It was the sequel for Super Mario Brothers, and it was released only in Japan. And it was released on, an, on a little accessory, a little system, that is called the Famicom Disk System. And uh, I have it right here. Uh, I have my AV Famicom that's on top. Uh, that's the RGB modded AV Famicom that I have right here. And here at the bottom is the disc system that was released only in Japan. And the reason, well, I mean, there's, if I move, if I can move my, okay, th thankfully my camera cable didn't get disconnected. Huh, spoke too soon. My, my my camera cable did get disconnected, but that's okay. Um, that might still have that might still happen from time to time, and that's still something I'm kind of like in the process of still fixing. But at least it doesn't seem like it'll be as much of an issue as it was the last time around. Anyway, so yeah, Famicom Disk System. That's where this game was released on. That was a Japanese only peripheral. Released for the NES, uh, the Famicom in Japan, and it was, and it was, um, huh, oh no, Vince McMahon, my man Blue Luigi. Thank you for your support. Uh, yeah, so this game was released in Japan, uh, only in Japan, uh, for the Famicom disc system, and it can and it didn't come out in the United States. First of all, the Famicom Disk System didn't come out in the United States because that system... Uh, well, I think part of the reason why they didn't release the Famicom Disk System in the United States was because of the fact that Nintendo was still... Uh, was still, like, trying to market the NES to the American consumer. And, like, they had to carefully avoid the way they were marketing the NES because that was uh because the NES was um they had to like really market it uh because they wanted to like avoid any term using the word like video games or computer or any of that because this was like after the video game crash of 1983 Nintendo tried to get get players back into gaming with the NES but in order in order for them to do so they had to really get around their marketing really carefully plan out just the way that they do things and that's why the uh and that's why the uh, Famicom that's why the Famicom disc system didn't come to the states and a lot of and so the thing about the Famicom disc system is that it's the discs are rewritable they had these kiosks that were in Japan that was specifically for writing games for the Famicom disc system some of like the first ROM hacks that have ever existed came from those machines, came from those rewritable machines, and it kind of allowed for easy piracy, which is one of the reasons the game, uh, the system ended up being discontinued in Japan. Another reason was because of, yeah, the piracy aspect and just, and also just that the, and just that even though discs were made cheaper, they were rewritable, and as a result, they, uh, released the games in, they released the games in Japan, um, well, that is to say, um, that is to say they eventually discontinued it in Japan and stuck with the, and stuck with the cartridges, because the reason they released the disc system in the first place was because the cartridges were cheaper, 
uh, the discs were cheaper to manufacture and when and when like piracy happened and 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 cost of the cartridge cartridges went down they just went back to using cartridges and Famicom disc system was discontinued um but as far as this game specifically um this as you may know is much different than this game cuz that's Doki Doki Panic that was cuz that was released um cuz this was actually this game Doki Doki Panic that was for a, that was a Japanese only event that it was a television event that came from Japan and this was like made for promotion of it but when Howard Phillips president of Nintendo at the time um Nintendo of America more specifically was play testing this game he thought it wasn't a good idea to release it in the states and you know, a little kind of a little bit of a spoiler alert, but I think he's probably right to have not released this game in the United States. Because one, because one, it's kind of more of a more or less a carbon copy of the original Super Mario Brothers. And second, because this game was hard. I mean, really hard. Like, it, it even goes above like it even goes like above some of the standards of the rich of the NES games that were also really, really hard. Because huh. Because the NES may have had some hard games, but this game was just brutal. And I think they probably made the right call to not release this in the States. Because, like, with the NES... Camera got disconnected again. But at least it's a simple, like, unplug and plug it back in. Uh, yeah, so with the N so with the NES, um, oh yeah, so when Howard Phillips play tested this, he decided that, yeah, it wasn't a good idea to release this in the United States, and, um, and so instead, hmm, this game ended up being Super Mario Bros. 2 in the United States, Doki Doki Panic, uh, so, yeah, and that's just, that was the game that we ended up getting, um, but... But I mean, it's a. But I mean, the game did eventually. The Japanese Super Mario Brothers Two did eventually come. Did eventually get brought brought to the United States in like Mario All Stars on the Super Nintendo, as well as Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. But it was even then like the. So, so there's that. Uh, now, um, seven thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I think now is the time for me to go over. As I look, as I look at the monitor for a quick minute here, because I also have a, I also have another monitor uh, attached, uh, connect, connected over on the left side, where I can see like, where I can see all the previews, and I can see, um, and I can see myself on on the TV and on the previews and all of like the other individual, all of the individual little like video capture screens. Okay. So, um, so Nintendo, so the, uh, Mario 10 announcements that has happened, uh, yeah, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to really, like, talk about with this, but there are a few things, one being the fact that they announced a sequel to the Super Mario Brothers movie, I look forward to that, that's coming out in 2026, um, and it's a bit of a ways of, bit of a way... Uh, a bit of a ways away, to say the very least. Uh, so there's, uh, so there's that, and then, um, so there was that, and then there was also the, there was also, like, the release dates for Luigi's Mansion 2 and, um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which, uh, you know, which I do look forward to. Well, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, not only do I look forward to that one, but also... But also, but also, that's one that I might consider if y'all would be down for that, because um, because if you ever look through my channel at any point, if you like look through some of the videos, that's if you look through some of the past videos, um, back in 2020, I did a 
uh, I did a playthrough, a Let's Play of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. That was just like kind of around the time where I was just like, you know, doing things to reinvent my channel. And it was also during the time of COVID. And I decided to like kind of take a little bit of a stab at like the Let's Play genre. And I decided to um, go with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. That was a game I never fully completed, but I've always wanted to. And it's a very fun game, I gotta say. And it's, and it's a fun game, and I do look forward to... Um, and I do look forward to uh, playing it for the Switch. And so I may actually stream that one because I never finished it the first time that I was doing the Let's Plays for that game. And I kind of just like discontinued the Let's Plays because I just like, because I decided that there wasn't really that much of an incentive to continue with that. Views weren't really all that, weren't really all there when it comes to Let's Play content. So I just decided that it's probably better if I would actually be streaming the game then I would be just like making individual let's play videos of it. And plus there's more of the interaction, the interactive aspect of, um, there's more mine. So, um, that's about as much as I have to say about the Mario 10 announcements. Well, actually the other thing of course, is that they also brought over uh, another set of the classic Mario titles for the Game Boy, Particularly Dr. Mario and um, Mario Tennis and Mario Golf. I mean, I mean, I mean, I do actually have more memories with Dr. Mario on the Game Boy than I did on the NES. Because, like, I, I, because that was one of the games that I owned when I was really, really, really young, and like, I actually did. By the way, forgive me if my camera keeps disconnecting like that. It's gonna, but it's a one second fix as opposed to like it being like a minute long fix like it was last time. So, <laughs> bit of progress, I guess you can say. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, Paper, uh, not Paper Mario. Yeah, Dr. Mario on the Game Boy. Um, yeah, I, there was a point, yeah, I, that was one of the games I've owned really early in my childhood and uh, I actually didn't even know an NES version existed until much later. Like, I had, like, the Game Boy version is what I remember more than the NES version. And, and as far as the other games that's on the, um, Game Boy online service, I mean, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, I guess it's cool that we have those games on there, too. But, as I've read in comments, Switch online service. And that, <laughs> uh, the Switch Online service, or rather the way they release their classic games, it's, uh, and Nintendo continues to go after emulators and going after people who, yeah, I mean, there was that whole situation that happened with like the Yuzu emulator. It's just a mess right now as far as, as far as, just the way that Nintendo, as far as the way that Nintendo just like handles emulation, but uh, what can I say? I kind of rambling a little bit. So I think at 740 is when I'm going to start with uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, The Lost Levels, because this is going to be a long playthrough, folks. <laughs> this is going to be like, I, you're probably going to see me just like, Break out in insanity. You're probably going to see me cog somebody with it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so... Um, looks like... And it looks like the internet's kind of... Uh, I mean, I do need to get... I do need to, like... I do need to probably... I do... I am looking for ways to, like, make the internet for these streams better. Because I know that there's been times where... Like, the stream would be disconnecting, and there is some draw frames, so... I... It's just something to look out for a bit. But, yeah. Um, so, I'll just... I'll give it another few minutes before I start actually playing the game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that was about as much as I have to say about the Mario... Uh, Mar 10, Mario Day... Um, content that was announced, um, and yeah, I, and yeah, I may, like I said, I may actually consider playing, uh, 
Thousand Year Door, I may consider streaming that game again, because I think this is a good opportunity to do so. Um, and maybe actually finish it this time around. Uh, I did, there were like actually more videos that I've done when I originally did the Let's Play of it that never got uploaded. And, um, and it was, and it was just like, and I just like, uh, with those type of videos, the, um, the Let's Plays, I just like, just, I just like kind of like did, kind of just didn't decided not to continue with it because I just felt there was not really much of a point to. I uh, think I would rather stream those games. So, all right. Well, I think without further ado, I mean, it's 739 right now, but I'm going to transition over. Yeah, transitioning over to, and also to get the capture card working. Uh, this isn't it. Yeah, because I want to be sure. There we go. There we go. And also, uh, if I can get out my phone for a minute, I'm just going to check the... Uh, yeah, just to check the audio. As I'm about to restart the system, uh, first I'll go to... First, I'll go into the uh, YouTube video. All right, camera got disconnected for a moment, but I just want to restart and... Actually, wait, no, there doesn't seem to be audio going through. Okay, we having technical difficulties again. Sort of. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Cause things have been... No, stop. Okay. All right, so I'm just turning this off. Sorry about that, folks. A little bit of technical difficulties, but... Okay, so... All right, so it's showing up on the TV. Or it was showing up on the TV. Now, okay. All right, now it's showing up. Now if I restart. No audio. Okay. Yeah, this was something I was messing around a bit uh, yesterday. It was a little hard to get it just like up and running, both the video and the audio. But I should be able to get this up and running soon enough. It's just, you know, technical difficulties. You just can never stop these things from happening. Uh, so, oh, and one, oh yeah, and one other thing that I forgot to do, uh, you, give me one moment, I'm gonna go into, yeah, okay, um, so I don't know if this actually, 
Okay, so I was trying to bring the chat over here. Uh, I'll do a quick test. Okay, um... Alright, so still doesn't... Alright, so it still doesn't seem that the on-screen chat is, you know, particularly working. Um, because, yeah, I was trying to get that to work through, uh, through the, uh, OBS, uh, Streamlab settings, but I, <laughs> that's still something that needs a bit of work. Of course, a lot of things in this still needs a bit of work. And I'm gonna keep resetting the Famicom disk system until I actually get some audio coming through. And that may require turning off the Frame Meister and turning it back on again. Okay, and let's see. Is it... Oh, a scrambled picture! Well, there was a scrambled picture, but I think it's... Going through? Should be going? No! Okay, disconnected. Okay, alright, 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 alright. There we go, there we go, there we go. And... Okay, I kind of heard a little bit of a buzz. But it doesn't seem like... You know what? I'm gonna turn this off. And then, um... And then turn it back on, and god damn that, that pink screen. I'm gonna be sure that that doesn't show up on stream either. Still no audio, but I'm gonna turn this off and turn this back on again. The Frame Meister, that is. And it's just one of those things where, you know, these things tend to happen. But, mm. What can you do? Alright, is it turning on? Okay, back on. All right, now to try the reset. Hmm. All right. Hold on a minute, folks. I'm going to try to unplug the... I'm going to try to unplug the... Uh, unplug the SCART cable from the Famicom disk system. I'm gonna unplug the SCAR cable from the Famicom disk system, and then I'm gonna turn off the Frame Meister, turn it back on, do another uh, reset test, and then we'll get the show going, hopefully. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this off again. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna unplug this, plug it back in, turn the power on the Frame Meister again, see if things work again. Turn on the disk system.
is it going? Hmm. All right, well, I'll try loading up the game. I'll actually load up, I won't load up Super Mario Brothers 2, but I'm gonna load up the B side to this. Uh, I'll load up the B side to this real quick, just to see if like I get some audio going. Also, I don't know if the mic's picking this up, but I hear the whirring of the um, disc system. Okay, so I'll turn off the Frame Meister again. All right, I'll wait till. All right, it should pop up. Okay. All right, it disappeared on that screen. That means it should show up here. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'll unplug this capture card. Uh, and then plug it back in. I'll just wait for this to reboot. The capture device, that is. Okay, all right, the audio is at least working. So now if I can just get it showing up on here again. All right, um... All right, so now to open up YouTube on my phone again, well, actually what I'm gonna do is, before I do that, I'll eject. Uh, well, what I meant is that I'm gonna go to the B side. Uh, I'll put in the B side to this game, which is going to be Yeah, and B-side to this is tennis. Uh, yeah, I'll just... Yeah, I'm just checking it on my phone. Um, you know, just being sure to do the audio test on my phone as well. Okay, you know, hold on. <sighs> because I also want to be sure that the audio isn't overpowering the... Okay, and I'm going to do another audio test. 
And then I will be actually begin with the game. So, gonna turn the YouTube stream back on through my phone. I'll actually also turn down the volume on my TV. Okay, all right, well... All right, now to do this for real. For realsies. Ugh. All right. So now, set up the mic. Have the mic on the stand. Restart, and... All right, all right, we are ready to begin. Begin! With my eternal suffering of Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese game, The Lost Levels. And I decided to play as Luigi. Um, which the differences between Mario game and Luigi game is that Mario runs at this, in the same way that you would play as him in the original Super Mario Bros. But Luigi is much more slippery. He has more slippery controls, but he also jumps higher. Oh, and watch out for the poison mushrooms, because if you get hit by the poison mushrooms, you can either die or you, or you would like you lose your power up or whatever, because they are the exact opposite of what a regular mushroom is. That's like really the one new thing that uh, this game really offers compared to the first Super Mario Brothers. And now as I, uh, yeah, now as I jump on that, Only on World 1, but so far, so good. I mean, after all, huh, the, there's still some more insanity to come. The insanity hasn't really started just yet, but huh, huh, just you wait. There's going to be so much insani insanity in this game that it's just, man, unbelievable. Okay, and now, there we go. <laughs> yeah, also monitoring my TV screen or my computer screen for some drop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just monitoring things, checking the computer screen, checking my internet connection. I know my internet connection is not the greatest, but I also think it helps to put my phone... And my mic dropped again. If I can just keep this mic up... Hold on a minute here. All right, there we go. Because I got to keep playing this and get to the end, which I said that I was going to do. And I'm not going to be taking any warp zones in this. This is straight up going to be from beginning to end. This might take a little, this might be a bit of a long stream for that very reason. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was my own fault. That was my own fault right there. But okay, so now to keep on going. Uh, and now. All right, Starman. Okay, nothing in there. So I'll just keep on going. And I also expect there to be a lot of game overs in this run, because 
That's another thing about this game is that once you get a game over, you go all the way back to the beginning of the whole entire world. Which, in the All-Stars re-release, they spared you from that by starting over at the beginning of each level because they knew this game was hard. And, uh, yeah, and, I mean, so far it's not, so far it's not too bad. At least, I'm not feeling any pain as of right now, but, <laughs> but I know it's gonna get there. This is only the first world after all, so, yeah, I just gotta, mm, get the mushroom. Also, I don't think I've gotten the fire flower in this game just yet. There's also going to be moments in this game where being big Luigi can actually be a bit of a setback in some levels. And while I'm sure that you'll see later in the stream just how much being big can set you back. Maybe not in this level. All right. Oh, this is an- oh, yeah, and I- oh, and also another thing about this game is that I also gotta watch out, really be on a lookout for when I have to do one of those mazes, cause, uh, we have those in the first Super Mario Brothers, but here, oh boy, they can be so, so hard to navigate. That's probably one in which I may need a bit of a guide in order to get past is those... Are those maze levels where you have to take a certain path. Cause that's... Those can be really annoying. Thank you, Luigi, but our princess is in another, in another castle! Yeah, thank you, Toad. Right, world two, here we go! Got some of them Koopas and those Troopas, because I'm going to be stomping on them. Koopas. Heh. <laughs> and now to get the mushroom. There we go. <laughs> okay, and now to go through. Alright, and also, is there a vine in one of these blocks? I don't remember if there was or not, but I'm gonna check on that. Well, maybe not through there. Oh, there is a vine! It's invisible on here. Wait a minute, I can't climb up it! I can't climb up that vine because it's off-screen! Oh, great. That is just great. Poison mushroom? That's poison shroom. Don't want to get hit by that. Okay, and now...
Well, I was yammering on too much. I noticed that my, I just noticed that my camera got disconnected. Whoops. All right, now, uh, world three dash two. Also, I'm looking every now and then for not just chats, but also for like, for just like the streaming quality of this. All right, and here we have some cheap cheeps. I don't want to get hit by those cheap cheeps. No. Okay. Some bloopers to avoid. Okay. Good. Good. Narrowly made it out of there. Uh, Michael, hey Dylan, you still going to make a video about your trip? Oh god, that was years ago. That, uh, Pixar trip. That was one of those things that I... That I planned to do back in 2010. I did a... I... Cause like I... Cause I did like make a video where I... Where I was like gonna... Where I was like going to that Pixar trip. Um... And like I talked about it in video that yeah, I'll be going on it and I may make a video about it. Um, but I ended up, like, not making a video about it. I did bring my, like, I did bring my camera over to the trip, but, um, but, like, they didn't really allow, like, video, uh, video, a uh, videography over in the place, because it's, it, it, it was, it was just, it was just, like, one of the parts within the tour that they just did not allow. But, um... But I mean, but, but I mean, basically, like as far as the tour went, uh, there were there were some moments where uh, there were moments where they had like the art gallery. They showed us the art gallery that contained not just like works of Pixar. It also contained like some stuff from like Chuck Jones. Uh, they they showed us like even like some of the um, Bugs Bunny stuff, which <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, they had like a Chuck Jones art museum, which I have a feeling that might be because like. Chuck Jones might be one of the inspirations from Pixar, but yeah, um, but I mean, I don't like really have any actual like video from that trip. All I really have are like photographs from some really old photographs, uh, photos from when that trip happened, which I, which I could probably share, which I could probably share as well. Oh, but now we're at this level where I have to take a certain path. So, yeah, um... And you know, I probably am gonna have to look up a guide on this, because this is the part where... Huh, and also I think this... Yeah, okay, this is where you take the top half, because of those blocks. 
Glass House, favorite genre of music besides video game music? Probably like 80s pop. I enjoy listening to some 80s pop, like over the radio. Uh, there's There's been like certain stations that I would listen to on the radio that, um, and not just on the radio, I also like set up my own Spotify too, where I, la where I like include like some 80s pop. There's a, like, there's some like Depeche Mode. There's also, a, there would also be like, um, there would also be like stuff from like, I might put on stuff from like Rick Springfield and um, Human League, Keep Feeling Fascination. Actually, there's a local station from where I live um, that's, uh, honestly, it used to be a better station that played 80s music, that they would do, like, this Flashback Friday thing, where they would, like, play, like, some of the New Wave stuff, and that, uh, and that had, a, and that had, like, some of, like, the, some of, like, some of, like, the New Wave pop stuff, they had certain songs, like, uh, They Don't Know from Tracy Ullman, um, songs from the Human League, and, um, and other, and, uh, what are some other new wave artists that I'm missing? I mentioned Depeche Mode. That was another one. Ah, uh, God. But, yeah. Okay, my camera got disconnected again. Um, that's been happening, and wasn't as bad as last time. Uh, last time I streamed, but yeah. Talking Heads, that's another one, yeah. Oh, yeah, they yeah they made that one song. Uh, I'm trying to remember the lyrics to that one. And it feels so fine. What? Once in a lifetime. Yeah, that one. Okay. Anyway, so now I'm going to look up a guide for Lost Levels World 3. Because that is one uh, where I kind of need to have a bit of a guide in order to get past that one. Because, I mean, at least with the re-releases in... Because um, at least with the re-releases of this game, such as in... Such, such as in... Um, no, World 3-4... Such as in uh, Super Mario All Stars and in Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, they actually give you an indication of when you're actually going through the right path. Whereas this, you have to memorize everything. But I'm going. But I'm looking at the guide right now. Um, enemies level map, or no, not level map. I wanted to. Oh yeah, layout. Uh, yeah, one where you have to. Okay. Okay, all right, so, layout of this maze. Um, player has to go through the correct path, if they choose incorrect path. So after the second lava pit, player needs to take a path from the bottom. Okay. This is probably going to reset, but... Actually, wait, I think I already got through that first obstacle. All right, second path, third path, over the... Okay, next point, over the bottom. Move, though, if it thought... Though, it... They are in small form. If they're not in small form, lava bubbles. Ah, uh, goddamn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So four hidden blocks in this path. Okay. This is actually three, but it doesn't matter. Uh, three hidden blocks, and then, and then on the lower path. Oh, oh, the lower path. Wait, no, okay. All right, so second pu so second puzzle. Uh, so a path can be traversed as Super or Fire Mario. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lava bubble, okay. Um, Oh yeah, first pipe to reach the upper platform. Okay, I'm at the upper platform. Oh yeah, and there's a fake Bowser in this level. That's something I completely forgot about. 
Okay, yeah, so take the top path here. And, um, two path. Okay. First pipe, reach the upper platform. Okay, so I have to... Okay, so yeah, I do have to remain on, the, on that top path. So as we find the first time. Okay, there it is. All right, okay. Okay, so I got past the first hellish maze level. There is gonna be a second one, and that's gonna be so much harder. But I just narrowly avoided that, oh my god. Okay. World 4-1, okay. All right, so now get the part where you have to avoid Lakitu. Also, I don't want to get hit by the spinies because that would suck. And I think there's a poison mushroom in one of those. Oh, no, that's a regular super mushroom. I got lucky with that one. And then it can, also like it can be sort of hard to like maneuver your way past those really long paths because of like momentum and just like how far the water can spread out. But okay, now we have the spinies. Oh, this is where this. Yeah, uh, okay, I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was a poison mushroom here. Ah, uh, but now I gotta deal with freaking Lakitu. There we go. Okay. Alright, I'll just wait for these spinies to fall off. Uh, must get the fire flower. Okay. Lakitu is actually my favorite character introduced in Super Mario Bros. 1. Okay. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I mean, Lakitu was a good character. Um, I mean, it's... He's kind of... I mean, he's kind of a bit of a... Bit of a biatch in this game. He can be... <laughs> really quite something. I mean, he was good in the first Super Mario Bros. But here, he can be... A bit of a force to reckon with, to say the very least. Like, it kind of gets in your way in this game. Um, I didn't know- Edwin! I didn't know that, lol. Okay. Alright, so now, I'll just... Uh, jump over. Okay, there we go. Alright, and now to... Alright, that's a poison mushroom in one of those blocks, so I'm not even going to touch that. Out of here, Lakitu. Okay. Oh, get that fire flower. Oh, I might have. Okay, no, I didn't jump in that pit. Thank freaking God. Okay. Huh. Alvin, Luigi's Lost Levels. That is right. Ha <laughs> ha. Because these are some slippery controls that you have when playing this game. Uh, oh, and watch out for Spiny again. And it doesn't help that those slippery controls could cause me to crash into that guy. Okay. Because that's the thing about those slippery controls in, in this when you're playing as Luigi is they can cause you to crash into enemies. And can also cause you to fall, which I'm sure is really gonna come back to bite me once I get to the final worlds. Oh, good lord. A play as Luigi makes this quite a challenge. And I'm making sure that... Yeah, making sure that my video screen is still up. Because sometimes my camera disconnects. And I gotta watch out for that. Oh! Starman! Okay. All right, and now there's La- Okay, Lakitu, there it goes.
All right, anything? Nope, not in here. All right, and now, um, all right. I feel like this is one where I kind of have to be, where I kind of have to be small, Luigi, in order to get through here. But, huh? Okay. I mean, I, I can at least get through this area, right? This narrow area. Um. Okay. Oh God, that was a poison mushroom. Oh, this game. This game can really trick you with those things. Great. Now I'm small, Luigi. Uh, I'm not even going to try with that. Not with that hammer, brother. No, sorry, Bob. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Okay. Good, good, okay. And I don't think there's an extra mush. God damn it. I went a little too early for that. Went a little too early to go through, to go through that piranha plant, okay. Piranha plant, all right. And by the way, that's another new thing that this game introduced are the red piranha plants. The ones that go faster than the regular ones. Oh yeah, that is a super mushroom in there. Which means I could have maybe gotten a fire flower if I was able to crouch under there. But that's not very likely I would have gotten there if if I even did that, so. Huh. Oh yeah, and it's also interesting how some iframes in this game can cause the hammers to bounce back, so that's good. Alright, and just there's the Koopa Troopa. Alright. Well, so far I'm making good progress. Only got one game over. All right, here we go. All right, and now to go through this and, ah, uh, so, and this is where there's like so many of, uh, so many flying enemies and all that. Okay, couldn't quite hit that super mushroom. I think this is where things start to really get hard with this game. Just gotta go through the bullet bills! Okay. Oh yeah, and also I thought those red Koopa Shoopas are the ones are the ones that don't fall off when are the ones that don't fall off. I mean I don't know, I guess I was wrong about that. But yeah, the um but yeah, the red troopas, that was another thing that was introduced in this game. Yeah, I mean, there's not too much that was introduced in this version of Super Mario Bros. 2. It's just mostly, like, you know, slightly different colored enemies. And also, yeah, the third one is the one that has the Super Mushroom. I do remember that! Okay, and now... There's some of the Koopa Troopa sh More of the Koopa Troopas. Okay, and... All right, and I just, okay, and this is one where momentum can kind of kill you. And same with that hammer, brother. This is not another one of those where you have to take a certain path. It's not, but it, you can kill yourself pretty easily. Okay, well, made it to the end. That's good. Ah, oh God, oh dear God. Okay, oh no. Oh no! Ah! Well, I was close. I was close to completing this world. Ah. But this is where I think the, some of the pain of this run is gonna begin. Gonna get a bit of those game overs and then I would restart. 
all the way back to the beginning of the world. That, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is part of the suffering of Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 Japan. And also trying to get through that narrow path. There we go. And then we have Lakitu again. <sighs> nice run! Thank you, Edwin. Hey, Dylan, have you ever heard of Lloyd, Lord Biako? He's a YouTuber who has a similar style to you, although he hasn't posted. I, although he hasn't posted in since 2019. I have not heard of this guy. I've not heard of this guy at all. That's the first I've ever heard of him. Similar style as me. That's interesting. Yeah, hasn't posted anything since 2019. I mean, that's. I've. I mean, I, I mean that does kind of sound like the type of thing that I would do, to be quite honest. Um, given uh, given some of like the up points and down points that this channel has had. Okay. So that's a poison mushroom. Very sure of that. All right, and now to get the super mushroom. Vine! Must climb up that vine. Bruh, daylight savings time. Oh boy. It is daylight savings time, man. I mean, right now it's, uh, I mean, right now it's still, well, I think for some people it's probably like, 11? Yeah, because for me it's like 8.30. Um, because that's why I try, that's why I kind of stream in the Pacific time, but also there's times where that's, but also there's times where, like, for some it might, might be better if I streamed earlier. Maybe that's something I could, uh, maybe that's something I can, like, do a poll about at some point is, just, uh, it's just like asking like the best times for me to stream. Like, I mean, uh, like this, like the time that I'm streaming right now, God damn it, I got that poison mushroom. The tree, the, the time that I'm streaming right now is kind of like most preferred to me, but it would also depend on like if anyone, uh, if. But it would also depend on on just like anyone else's schedule. Um, and also same with my schedule too. Cause I mean, there's also certain days where like, there's also certain days where I'd have to like, um, because, uh, because like things are just like so, um, because I oftentimes like have like a bit of a work schedule on my own end. Um, because I have a bit of a work schedule on my own end, then I, then yeah, I, then yeah, like I kind of have to like find whatever times and whatever dates to stream, and yeah, go from there. Um, Alfan, hey, how's it going? All right. And so now. Okay, and now for uh, this next part. Okay, and I'm just about to run out of time, so I better speed run my way through this level. Go really quick, okay. Doing good, well that's good to hear. All right. So now, uh, oh boy. Now we get a whole plethora of these bullet bills and I got hit by that. That uh, is just plain wonderful. Oh, Starman, must get the Starman, okay. All right, so now I just, yeah. Oh yeah, and I can, oh yeah, and I'm small enough to get that super mushroom. There we go. Watch out for that hammer brother. Well, both of those hammer brothers, really. Okay, and now I just gotta... 
I can see you aren't doing good. Like, are you talking with the stream or with how this run is going? Because as far as the stream goes, there has been like some technical stuff that has happened as far as like internet connection. As far as like internet connection goes and all that. Um, as far as this game goes, I mean, this is one of those games that is, uh, it's hard for sure. This is a very hard game. Um, and I, and I expected this to be pretty hard, just like the moment I started streaming here. Definitely WIP. Ooh. Okay, hold on, let me check. Let me check the connection on my phone here. Like how you're playing a hard game, yes. Yes, definitely. I mean, this is a game that I generally do, I mean, I do generally do pretty well at this game, but it's also one where uh, it's, where this, where it does, there is a lot of suffering with this, and especially since I'm now at World 4, uh, it's, mm, oh, I think I'm gonna have like a bit of a meltdown once I get to, once I, once I get more towards especially World 8. But also, I think it'll be worth it because... Alright, well, I'm at World 4 right now. And I didn't get the Super Mushroom, God damn it! And I just gotta... Mm, jump through that. Alright, Hammer Brothers, watch out for that. And, um... I'll wait for that Fire Bar to go down. Mm, there we go! And this is where the Super Mushroom is. Oh yeah, and this is tricky. Try to get the Super Mushroom? Oh my god, I survived that. Oh, thank god. Okay, I just gotta... Ooh, dodge, dodge. Okay, yeah. All right, so, um, hey Dylan, who's your favorite YouTuber? Good question. Um, there's several that I followed. I mean, I did used to watch like a bit of like Review Tech USA. Um, he's focused on like drama and that just kind of makes me tune out. Um, My Life in Gaming is also really good. That's actually, the, that's actually kind of what got me interested. Well, I mean, I've always been interested in retro gaming, but it got me into interested in like investing in certain equipment, like the um, like the AV Famicom I'm currently playing on. Uh, yeah, like the AV Famicom that I'm currently playing on, uh, and uh, yeah, and then I've also like followed like there's also been like old school YouTubers used to follow like Angry Video Game Nerd. I also used to follow like. K-Wing, Nightwing reviews, uh, and yeah. And there's also like several political channels, but I'm not gonna go into that. Um, you should check Lord ba Lord Bayako out if you have some time, super underrated. Okay, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. So, all right, yeah, so now to continue on. Um, and yeah, once again, I do apologize for any technical difficulties that has happened throughout the stream. Um, like I said before, there's times where my camera might disconnect. Um, it's at least as simple as, like, unplugging and replugging back in, unlike the last time around. And as far as the internet, that's probably going to look into getting a, um, getting into a Wi-Fi extender. Um, because, like, the, because, like, the internet that I have is actually, well, it's not technically mine. It's actually my landlord's and his internet um, and his, and his internet is, well, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's like, it's decent internet, but it's also, but it's also like, you know, it, but it's also like kind of how it tends to have issues with my own laptop and, and so like using like a hotspot kind of helps with that too. But 
Um, but I think I'm gonna like look into like other like Wi-Fi range extenders, which hopefully will help with at least getting less lag in these streams. But uh, the it, a lot of this is still just like kind of like a work in progress as far as um, is very work in progress as far as um, as far as like you know just getting things set up as just getting things set up for streaming. So. All right, without further ado, um, now to continue. Continue on with uh, World 5 and um, to get through this game. And, and I've been playing for about less than an hour, actually. <laughs> and I got to, got bit. Actually, you know what? Since I'm on my last life, I'm just gonna do this. Reset my life counter. So, all right. Um, yeah, but I've been at it for about an hour, and I'm already halfway through the end, so... But of course, those are some famous last words, because I know, like, it's gonna get harder with this level. Uh, so yeah, um... Let's see, anything in here? Mushroom! Must get the mushroom. All right, and now, oh yeah, and here's another thing that was introduced in this game, the wind. The wind that can throw you off, well, sometimes it can, but you're also required to guide through that wind in order to get past, uh, in order to get through some very narrow parts. All right, I recommend checking out Ducky Bobbles. All right. Um. Yeah. That's that's a that's some that's something to cons that is something to to look into. I mean, there's been several suggestions of YouTubers to check out, and I yeah I may look into those. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Ah, camera got disconnected again. That's a, that happens. Have you considered doing a collab with another YouTube besides the Sunday Game Nights? I've, um, well, as far as Sunday Game Nights goes, if, uh, if I, I mean, it's possible that I might. I haven't, like, considered it. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, if there's, if I talk with, like, another YouTuber and they decide that they want to, like, do a collab, I'm willing to, I'm willing to do so. Absolutely. Pesky camera, yeah. I mean, also, like, I mean, it's also, like, kind of, like, I mean, there might be also other things, like, there's, like, the HDMI c cable that it's kind of connected towards, but I will still say, I still hold to the fact that, that the way, that the way this camera is going is still better than it was in the last stream, where I had to, like, really, like, constantly disconnect the capture card in order to get the uh, camera going, but I did get a better, at least a more stable way of having the camera be more connected. It's, like, kind of one of the, it's, like, one of the more cheaper, more made for those uh, DSLR cameras, as opposed to, uh, as opposed to the, um, as of, as opposed to the Elgato capture card that I connected to, that I connected the camera to the last time around. Oh, and this is just great. Took me to not to World World Six, and I said that I was gonna make this a warpless run. I'm not gonna take any warp zone, so just gonna wait for that timer to run off and to and for me for me to die from here. Mm. But yeah, as far as like other collaborations goes, it's possible. It's possible I might do that. Um, it's possible that that might happen somewhere down the road. But as far as like any like near future plans of that, I mean, probably like the closest I could think of would be like, you know, would be like maybe I might do like a one time. Would be like I might do like a one time thing with. Um, with one, with like, with like one of the members that was part of the group, um, someone who I just like know personally, but that's about as, but that, that's about as far as I really have, as far as, um, as far as like any thoughts of like any other sort of collaborations at the moment. 
Okay, so now... So I am not... So next time around, I am not gonna take this. No way I am not gonna do that. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, yeah, this is... This was another tricky one, because this is one that has some hidden blocks. That has some hidden blocks that requires you to get past this. Alright. Ducky Bubbles is a small YouTuber that plays forgotten PC games and now mostly Game Genie codes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that looks like it's worth checking out. Uh, hey Dylan, have you ever heard of those YouTubers Robert Storms and Neo Game Sparks? They are cool YouTubers. I Neo Game Sparks sounds familiar. I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure about Robert Storms though. But as far as those YouTubers go, I don't think I've really watched those. Um, favorite fiction character in any media? Ooh man, that's a tough one. Um. And that's a poison mushroom. Favorite fiction character? I mean, uh, well, I mean, I mean, I always, I mean, I always enjoy like. See, I mean, well, I mean, some of what I, en some of what I enjoy, like as far as like fictional characters go, I mean, of course there is Mario, which I'm currently playing right now. Well, playing as Luigi, uh, and of course, and of course, like, and of course, like Link from Legend of Zelda is another one. Uh, as far as, like, other characters from, like, sci-fi, uh, Doctor Who I enjoy, that's another good one. Um, let's see, I mean, like, I mean, like, Star Wars characters, Luke Skywalker, that's another good one. Um, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon's another fictional character I like. <laughs> I mean, I haven't, like, watched the full series of that, but, yeah, that was also... But, yeah, Sailor Moon is also something that I enjoy. Uh, okay, and now... Oh, boy! And on to World 5-3. And I'm sure... And I'm sure that there'll be, like, other, like, fictional-type characters that... And, of course, Luigi. Yup, that is right. Okay. Ah, bullet bill. Watch out for that. Ah. Man, oh man, those bullet bills, well, they were, just, they were just, well, I mean, those were just like kind of shooting out just the right place. Oh my God, the butt clenching. This is where the real butt clenchers come in, folks. Okay, where I'm just about to fall. Don't, all right. There we go. Whew. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Hooey! Oh yeah, another fictional character I like. Bender from Futurama. <laughs> Bite my shiny middle ass! <laughs> Okay. All uh, right. All right, and it just gotta. Ha! Uh, wait, this is not. This better not be another one of those. Oh, is it? Where I have to take a certain path? Well, actually, no. Maybe it's not this level. I know there's gonna be one coming up, but. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be this level. Ah! Bender Bending Rodriguez, that is right. Futurama. Like, Bender is great! Bender is great! Bender, 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 Bender is great! I remember him singing that in at least one episode. God. Okay. And now we'll get the ah oh no 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 don't fall okay oh uh, up there we go and yeah being big can also just like can also make certain situations feel make some of those pathways feel like a bit on the tighter side whoo 
Chewy and watch out for fireballs! Ah! That takes me back to the beginning of the world. Just great. I actually used to know someone named Ben Rodriguez, and I always used to call him that. Bender Bending Rodriguez. That's hilarious. Okay. All right, now back to world five, beginning of that world. I expect there to be a lot of times where I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the world because I'm gonna keep on dying, like right now. But, huh, good news is that at least it's not, well, nine o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Though for some, it would, though for some, it would be like midnight Pacific Standard Time and God damn it that, God damn it that skid just keeps on slowing down my momentum. Okay. I think that was a poison mushroom that was in there. Okay. All right, and now, I'll wait for this to come down. Okay. All right, piranha plant, here we go. Oh boy, all right. Now, I'll just... Oh, but I think... Yeah, I don't want to go up that, because that's going to take me to that warp zone. And we don't want to take warp zones in this run, or at least I don't. Okay, and now... And now to get the flagpole, and I'll be good to go. <sighs> I mean, at least the stream's looking pretty good right now. Doesn't show any signs of drop frames, at least not as of right now, so... Poison Mushroom, watch out for that. Okay. Starman, there we go. Must run. Run, 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 run. Okay. I'll just, oh, watch out for, all right. And now I'll wait and then, God damn it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well. Game over. All right, I'll try to focus as much as I can on this world. Uh, what is your favorite Mario game? Oh, let's see. Well, I mean, I always like to say it would either be like Super Mario World or Mario 64. Um, but I don't know. It's hard for me to pick exactly which one is my favorite Mario game of all time. Um... I guess Yoshi, I mean, Yoshi's Island I also really like, but you, you, some may argue that that's not technically a Mario game. It's more of like in the Yoshi category. So I mean, so I mean, yeah, I would say, so yeah, I mean, I would say like as far as like the main mainline entries go, uh, like either Super Mario World or Mario 64. Although I did, although I did enjoy Mario Wonder. And yeah, um... And yeah, there's a lot of 3D games that were really good too, but it is hard for me to pick like a specifically, what I would specifically consider my favorite Mario game of all time. But yeah, Super Mario World, I would, I would say is kind of up there. Okay. Okay, don't want to fall down that pit. That one's a, that one is a vine. I know that for a fact, so don't want to go up that. I'm also surprised to have gotten that really high one first. Okay, and now, all right.
All right. Okay. So now, world five two, and I think I should have my, f and I think I have a full set of lives here. Just gotta be, just gotta focus, focus as much as I can here, and then, all right. Koopa Troopa must knock out these other beetles. All right, now onto the Goombas, or getting past the Goombas. Uh, yep, and then there's that skid. <laughs> Those slippery controls, which can... Which can sometimes kind of bite you in the ass. Okay. All right. Ooh, okay. All right. Favorite Mario game, favorite Zelda game. Uh, favorite Zelda game, I would say, usually has been like Ocarina of Time or like, or like Link to the Past. But, um... Ocarina of, yeah, either like Ocarina of Time or Link to the Past has kind of been my favorite ones. Some would, some would say like Breath of the Wild has kind of been their favorite game. And while I do enjoy that, um, I still just like kind of have like a bit of a soft spot for uh, for for the uh, classic games like the N64 titles. Um, yeah, like the N64 game. So yeah, it's like either, so yeah, it's like Ocarina of Time is pretty much up there. And Link to the Past is kind of like maybe my second favorite, or well, I mean, I guess I don't know. It's a I was they're like a, I would say like both of those games are pretty much tied as far as like some of my favorite Zelda games, uh, Super Mario. Super Mario Brothers Two is my favorite, uh, is my favorite game on. Well, okay, yeah, I mean. Yeah, this game right here, I mean, it's, uh, it's very hard game, for sure, but it can be fun to play. Um, Mario is my favorite mainline, too. Mario RPG is my favorite spinoff and my favorite... Oh, yeah. God, and I played the Mario RPG remake, and, um, and actually, well, I mean, I did actually complete the remake, but also, like, I feel like I probably would need to go back to playing the original Super Mario RPG because I felt like the remake sort of felt it was a bit easy. Because I felt like I completed the remake of that in, like, a good amount of time. And also, I've said earlier in the stream, since we're talking about the topic of Mario RPGs, but when the uh, Thousand Year Door remake comes out, um, I may I may actually stream that. Because uh, I did do a Let's Play of that um, that I never completed. And I just, like... And I just, like, didn't continue doing the Let's Play stuff. I just, like, didn't feel it was, like, really that much worth continuing. At least not on my channel. But streaming is something that I would probably do. Is that an SNES controller? Uh, that's actually the 8-Bit-Do uh, NES controller. Well, it's an NES-style controller. And I actually have it connected through a Bluetooth receiver that's connected over on the disc, uh, the, um... That's connected on the AV Famicom right here, which I'm using as a controller. So, yeah, that's what this is. Just kind of a little bit of a, another mini tech showcase right here. That's the uh, 8-Bit-Do controller, NES controller. You can also connect it to the Switch. You can play, like, NES games on there, too. The um, games on the NES app. And it also has the um, L and R buttons as well, which might be good for, like... If you're playing like Game Boy Advance, cause, um, cause like I also have used this controller. I was also using this controller too when I was playing, uh, Pokemon Blue version, uh, the uh, colorization mod, which I do plan on getting back to, um, probably on the next stream, uh, after this one. But with this one, I'm gonna continue to finish playing up, um, Super Mario Bros. 2 Japan. So, and I'll, and I'll start by by playing World Three right now. Okay.
All right, and now, uh, all right. Watch out for those small piranha plants. Oh, and the bullet bills too. This is where there's bullet bills everywhere and the blooper, which uh, it's always feel so, oh my God, I made it up there. Cause like, sometimes it would have been better to have jumped on that Koopa Troopa shell on that uh, Koopa Paratroopa. And I jumped over the flagpole, which that does happen in this game. Um, that's, that's a, that's so that's something, um, that's something that, uh, that's something that I usually do, and, um, but, yeah. Uh, you're doing good. Thank you very much, uh, Dal yeah, thank you very much, Dallas Cowboy fan. Okay, uh, let's see. And I died from there. How many lives do I have left? Two more. Okay, so I can do this. I can do this. All right, I'll check. Um, I'll check for chats in probably when I finish up this level and hopefully my camera doesn't disconnect because I just want to focus on this level right now. And then after I complete this level, I'll check to see if there's any more chats. Because this, <laughs> Okay, I don't think I'm gonna bother with this with this block. Cause that's yeah. I just wanna complete this level right now. Watch out for the fireballs! Cause I have one life before I get another game over. And I don't wanna get another game over on this level, cause that would suck. I would have to start all over. So it's uh Tension is high right there. Okay, just gotta wait for that fire bar and then. Hooey! Oh, and there's that long one! Oh my god, I made it! I made it! Oh, but then.
Okay, just noticed that my camera disconnected again, because I'm also trying to focus on the game too. And also, and also since um, and also since I had to fix the camera for a moment, um, Dallas Cowboy fan, Nintendo Switch Online has Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, and you only get eight stars to get to A1. Yeah, that's another thing about this game too, and another part of where like of where this game is just being like so where this game was just like so plain sadistic when it came out for when it came out in Japan is that you have to complete this game from beginning to end I think from beginning to end eight times total in order to get to worlds A through A through D um but that's not going to happen in this run it's definitely not going to happen in this run this is not going off of save states this is not going off of emulation I'm playing this on the disk system itself so I'm going to based off of how players played it in how Japanese players would have played it back when they would play it on the disk system so I mean yeah but, but yeah I mean having having it on the switch online does help because you can use save states to like reset from like the beginning of the world or the beginning of the level as opposed to the beginning of the world. Because that's... <laughs> this game gets pretty cruel when it comes to things like that. Alright. So now... Oh, yeah. Do I want to go down this pipe? Uh, with that wind? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Don't get hit by the piranha plant. Okay. Good. Made it. And... All right, made it, and still as tall Luigi. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay, six dash two, going underwater. All right, and now uh, to get on through. I mean, the underwater levels, I can, the underwater levels, I'm generally pretty good at, at breezing through, even in this game. Although, well, there's still uh, a number of those enemies that can close in on you, so there's that. Okay, just gotta wait for that blooper to move around. Okay, and now, uh, all right, just gotta, <sighs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, your camera cut out before you defeated Bowser, so, um, Okay, hold on. Okay, I'll wait till it gets to World 6-2, then I'll read the last of the uh, chats. Uh, let's see. Your camera cut off before you defeated Bowser. Before you defeated Bowser. If you've answered any questions... Uh, cut out, really? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let me check the... Uh, let me check my stream for a moment to see... Uh, to see where, to see where that's happened. Okay, alright, okay, okay, so it is still going. Yeah, there are moments where my cam where my camera does cut off, okay. So my camera cut off before I defeated Bowser, if I answered any questions since, I'll have to repeat them. Uh, let's see, well, since I've defeated, let's see, since I've defeated Bowser on the last castle... Uh, let's see, because I think I talked about, I think I talked about my favorite Zelda game, which was either Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time. Super Mario Bros. 2 Japan, favorite game, uh, favorite game. Um, I did talk about Mario RPG. Uh, I talked about Mario RPG, where I played the Switch remake. And I also mentioned uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, um, how they're coming out with the remake for the Switch. I might consider streaming that. Might consider streaming that. Just as kind of a way of like, just as kind
Okay. And I did see that my camera cut off again here. Um, so I noticed that. Um, but I did say that I was going to stream Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Um, or considering streaming that once the Switch remake comes out. Because, uh, because I could actually, because I, that would actually be an opportunity to actually finish up the damn game that I haven't finished when I was playing it in 2020. Uh, let's see. And I did say that I would, and I did say that I might do streams of, like, Gex. Um, I don't know about strategy games. I haven't, like, really, like, played too much of those. And Rampage is more of a maybe, but, but I mean, I know that there's the Gex uh, trilogy that's coming out. Um, and I still never played through the uh, last two games. I played the first one. I actually do still own the first Gex. And, um, and I, and I mentioned that, and I did mention about Super Mario Brothers, the lost levels and how, and how like, yeah, that's on the Switch online and you can use like save states on that. That helps eliminate some of the, some of the pain that I would be going through in this stream since I'm playing this on original hardware. Um, and now for questions that I haven't answered. Hey, Dylan, have you ever played Pokemon Go? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Um, yeah, I played that when it came out. That was... And I actually... Uh, God, I'm actually, like, getting kind of semi-nostalgic over when Pokemon Go first came out. Because that was, like, the time when everybody was playing it. It was, like, all over the news and all over the media that, yeah, Pokemon Go! It's this new big thing that has taken over, and I played it for quite a bit during that time. I played it for quite a bit, and I... Yeah, I played it for quite a bit during that time, and when I got... And there was even a moment where I was... There was even a time where there was a meetup group that they held in, like, the San Francisco Pier... Well, it wasn't directly at the San Francisco Pier, but we did walk there. And there was, like, so many people playing the game. I remember catching Dratini and being like, oh, wow, it's so exciting to catch Dratini in this area. Um, but I got bored of the game after a while. I There were times I tried to get back into playing Pokemon Go, and but then I was just like, I, I, I couldn't. I have tried several times. I do like the fact that... I feel like a I feel like there is like a good social aspect to Pokemon Go, but I could not get back into that game. It's last time I was really fully into it was in 2016 where it really took off and then after that I was just like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, let me try getting back into it and I never did." So, yeah. Pokemon Go was the first super popular game based on a Nintendo IP since the Wii at the time. Even Mario Kart 8 wouldn't make it big until the Switch port. Yeah, I mean, that's true. And also the fact that Pokemon was already, like, Nintendo's biggest, most popular IP to begin with. Um, like, e like, even no like, even now, I mean, like, even now, like, there's Nintendo that's still really popular. And Pokemon is just, like, kind of another league of its own. Where, like, they've also, like, released, like, spinoff stuff. Uh, there was that Detective Pikachu movie that came out, which which I enjoyed, but I do wish that they did more with that. Um, and there's and then there was like other like pieces of Pokemon media that has come out. All right, but now, all right, now to go back into this game. Now to go back into this game, and I'll focus on World Six Three. And if there's any more chats after this, I'll read them after I complete this level. Or after I die, whichever comes first. And hopefully, and I'll also be on a lookout for if my camera craps out. Alright, and um... Okay, and now... Okay, and now just gotta get that mushroom. There we go. Okay. All right. And all right, got the mushroom. There we go. And this is the and this is the level where there's just like shit enemies flying all over you. Like right here, for instance. There is just one that just like flew up and bit me. <coughs> oh. And my 
camera went out just in time for me to catch it. <laughs> All right, totally neglected the 3DS, lol. I mean, are you, let's see, even Mario Kart 8 wouldn't make it big until the Switch port. Oh yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, Mario Kart was still, well, I mean, the 3DS in general was popular, um, but also, but also the Switch, I feel kind of, I feel like the Switch kind of put Nintendo in like a bit of another renaissance era where, cause like that came out after, after the Wii U and that was Nintendo's poorest selling system. But like the 3DS, I felt carried Nintendo during that period. Like it did well. The 3DS did well when the Wii U was doing really bad. So yeah. Um. All right, but now I'll be sure that, all right, camera is still on. Camera is still connected, and if it ever disconnects, uh, then I'll be sure to. Oh no, this is not. This better not be. Oh, I think it is. It's another one of those pathway type of levels. Well, god damn it. Totally neglected to regard the 3DS, I mean. Okay. Well, anyway, right now. Uh, right now, I'm going to look up a guide for this level to get past world, um, to get past world 6-4, because, uh, all right, Mario lost levels 6-4, uh, because that is the one, because, yeah, that's one where, uh, it, it, it's kind of better when you're playing it in, like, the All-Stars version, because they actually give you indications of where you're messing up, where... God damn it all. <laughs> yeah, where do, yeah, where, um, yeah, where you're kind of, um, where like in the Mario All-Stars version, it tells you when you're not taking the correct path, where in this game, you have to memorize all of it. And so, so you don't get the Dean sounds in Mario All-Stars. Um, first path, okay, first path, player has to jump over the piranha plant, walk under the platform with the flan fire bar, okay. Oh yeah, and then that lawn fire bar can cut you pretty close. And then walking underneath the uh, hanging pipe with a piranha plant, player then needs to defeat or avoid a hammer brother and jump up the platform on the very top. And God damn it, they have to make it so much harder when you that you have to either jump on that hammer brother or avoid it. It's. This game, man! This game. Oh, God. Okay. I'll wait till the star, man. Uh, okay. Uh, can I get the... Nope, can't get the one-up mushroom. I'll just run. I'll just run through this. All right, there we go. And now to jump over, okay. Ah, Hammer Brother. I'll get it from on top. All right, so now, uh, okay. All right, so now I just gotta, ooh. Mm, I have a feeling that there probably is like some kind of mushroom or um, mushroom or star in this uh, block, but, um, Ah, uh, okay, well, there's at least a mushroom in this block, so I'm gonna focus on that one. Okay, and now... Ah! That wind, man! That wind! And, well, since I'm on my last life for this level... Gonna have to rest Decided to restart the life counter. Ah, yep, this, <laughs> I am really feeling the amount of pain in this, in this game, but I knew that there was going to be that. Ah, and yep, that was going to happen. Could have at least decreased the obstacles in the maze levels, but they do call it the game for su but they don't call it super, super players for nothing. Yep, that is true. 
They did call it soup. They did call it super players. And does it say that here on? Yep, for super players. It even says it on this case right here. It's like barely visible on this case, but yeah, it even says it here on this very case that it is for that it is for super players. But yeah, the more I play this game, the more I'm really seeing how much um, I think Howard Phillips made the right call when he made the decision not to bring this game over to the United States because. Cause I mean, uh, cause I mean, like the first Super Mario Brothers did bring a bit of a challenge in North American gamers, but there's also moments where, like, it can, where one bad decision can really turn people off of gaming, and I think that's what Howard Phillips was trying to avoid when avoiding when when play when playtesting this game is that yeah, this game is hard and he found it too hard for North American players and. And I kind of don't blame him for that, because, oh, and this happened. Because you get instances like this where you get thrown off by the wind, and then, and then also momentum slows you down. But yeah, like, I kind of picture if this was released in North America, I could see this possibly having some backlash. Maybe. But yeah, I think in the end... I think, I think in the end, the Super Mario Bros. 2 that we got in North America was probably a good decision uh, that they made as far as... I keep doing that. I, I keep doing that with, with, with the wind and the, momentum of, and the momentum of it. It's just... Okay, Super Mushroom, here we go. I'll just run through these piranha plants. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. Thank God I didn't get hit by that piranha plant, but I'm still big Luigi, so I would have been able to survive that, but okay. All right, made it. Too hard and too similar to the first Mario game. That's exact, that is exactly right. That is exactly why this didn't get brought over to, that this didn't get brought over to the States, cause it's just like, this is a harder, harder version of the first Super Mario Brothers. And plus, it doesn't even, like, really feel like that much of a quote-unquote sequel to Super Mario Bros. It's just very, like, it's just, it's just very, like, it's kind of like they took Super Mario Bros. and added more levels to it. Which, I guess, is also kind of why they called it Lost Levels when they brought it over to the States. Because, um, as part of Super Mario All-Stars. Because this is, uh, this, this, this is basically that, because this is basically... Essentially, more levels of the original Super Mario Brothers, but with more of a different coat of paint and everything. Oh, great! Last life. Ah, uh, can I get through this? Can I get through the next couple of levels? Also, also be good to focus on collecting coins as well, cause. Ah, uh, oh, and then also the um, also the current of the water. Uh, and these underwater levels doesn't exactly help, because they kind of pull you in. <laughs> ah, one life! And a whole crap ton of these Cheap Cheeps and Koopa Troopas. Oh me, oh my. Okay, um... Ah! I, that would have been a super mushroom. Vince McMahon, one question. Are you Vietnamese? Just asking. I'm actually, well, I mean, I actually was natively born in American. Um, I was natively born in America. Um... But I call, but like as far as like nationality goes, I'm more like Ukrainian. Uh, I come from a Ukrainian family. Um, like my grandparents were actually. Yeah, uh, my grandparents were the ones that came from the Ukraine. They immigrated here in the United States. 
Uh, that was and that was around and that was around the time that my dad was born. So that was like sixty ish. No, sixty, close to seventy years ago. If I got the timeline right, yeah, seventy years ago that my grandparents immigrated here, and my grandmother unfortunately passed away like uh, seven years ago. If you're asking because his last name, it's Eastern European. It's Ukrainian. My last name is actually Ukrainian. Uh, that's because that's where my grandparents came from. Is that they were Ukrainian? They came from the they came from the Ukraine. They immigrated here in America about seventy yeah seventy years ago. And um, my grandfather is still alive to this day. He's like ninety six. Um, he's currently 96, and he's still alive to this day. Um, my grandfather, my grandmother, unfortunately, uh, passed away, but that's kind of, that's kind of like a long family story in and of itself, but yeah, it's just, long, yeah, it's just kind of the long story of it is that my grandparents were, were born and raised in the Ukraine, and that's, and they immigrated here in the States, and and much of my family was just born around here in America. So, yeah, that's pretty much, like, where my nationality comes from is uh, Ukrainian. So, okay. Now, to restart. Okay. Okay, one up mushroom. There we go. All right. And having a one up mushroom is definitely good this late into the game. And also, I'm checking every now and then for my camera to still be on. And any chats, of course, I'll be reading after I after I complete this level or if anything else happens. But right now, I'm trying to. But right now, my main focus is completing the rest of these levels. Oh my god, I can't believe I have. I can't believe I jumped over those. Okay, piranha plants. Okay. Oh, oh watch out. Almost fell. Oh god. This game can be have some butt clenching moments at times, including here. Okay. I'm also part Eastern European, Czech, Polish and Czechoslovakian to be specific. Okay. That is a hard level. Oh yeah. And it's gonna get even harder from here. Cause you think World Six is hard? <laughs> oh God! Especially wait till we get to World Seven and Eight. Especially when I get to like World Seven Three, where it's nothing but a bunch of wind. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! That is gonna be a challenge. But in the end, I am glad I decided to pick this game to stream, cause <laughs> it does because it does provide, <laughs> I guess, something that's kind of like entertaining and also a whole lot of like butt clenching moments and moments where it's like, damn, this game is hard. Like <laughs> they really like went out of their way to make this game so hard. Huh, <sighs> but I made it, and I think I still have a good stock of lives, so. Gotta focus on world 6-3 six, six, and 6-4, and then at least when I get to 7-1, I can take a little bit of a breather. I also have German and Irish blood. I do have some Irish blood. That mainly comes from my mom's side of the family. Because my mom's side of the family uh, has, like, some Irish... does have, like, a little bit of, like, Irish blood to it, but that's... There's, that's not too much I really know about. Okay, so I died there, but I still have a decent amount of lives. So just all right, just double checking to see that my camera that my camera is connected, and I am going to focus. Just
and I caught my camera disconnecting again. Um, I've never made it this far, but I've heard C World C3 is one of the hardest Mario levels of all time. Yeah, World C3, um, I mean, I play that in the All-Stars version. It's basically World 7-3, but with Lakitu added in it, and he throws a lot of spinies. And regular 7-3, which you'll see during this, which you'll see during this run, um, it's hard enough as it is, and Lakitu added to it just further increases that. So, okay. But I'll actually go more into that a bit when I actually get to World 7-3. Oh my god, that was a, that was a good jump. Okay, I jumped right into that one. Oh, oh god. All right, whoo wee. Made it through that. Now onto World 6. Oh, World, uh, World 6 4, that is. Oh, and this is the one where I have to. I'm gonna press start here. Gonna. Oh, yeah, and this is the one that has the Hammer Brother to really make it even harder. So I know you go under this. You go through that, and then the Hammer Brother. Uh, let's see if I can off-screen the Hammer Brother. Okay, off-screening helps. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it doesn't reset. Okay, good, it didn't reset. So I got past the first part of it, hooray. Oh, now, uh, now I'm gonna check the guide again. For the second puzzle, a player needs to take the lower path with the piranha plants. Okay, then jump across the platform with the fire bars using downward moving lifts. Okay, so down this, and then... Okay, so lifts, okay, and... Yeah, using the downward moving lifts if needed, player needs to take the next bottom path, avoiding the Podoboo and the Lawn Fire Bar. Oh, it's the fireballs. They're called potoboos. Okay. I did not know that. Wait, did I take the right path or no? Oh, I think I did. I think I did take the right path. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Don't get hit by that firebar. Oh, God. Okay. Jump, Bowser, jump. Whew. All right. World 7, here we go. And I, I still have a decent amount of lives. Thank you, Luigi, but our princess is in another castle. And I don't think I've said that every time. Probably would have been annoying if I said it every time. Okay, World 7, and I still have a decent amount of lives. So, we're almost to the end. But of course, this is Lost Levels. Potoboos, although Nintendo later retconned their names to be Lava Bubbles. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I I always knew that the I always like refer thought of them as like lava bubbles. I think that's I that feels more right than the uh, Potoboo name. So, I, mean, I think that was like the Japanese name Potoboos were. Um, I don't know, but yeah, uh, lava bubbles is real is really what they are, or what I would or what I would prefer to call them as. Ah, uh, yeah, and then we get the wind. So many of the para- I'll just- Oh! Okay! Alright, and now... Ah! Cheap Cheeps! Why are there Cheap Cheeps in a war- in a level like this? God damn it. Well, since this is 7-1 and it's my last life, I'm just gonna do this. Reset the life counter. Okay. So now... Alright. I'll just get past those Koopas. And yeah, there's no... But I can, but I can jump... Thank you. 
Camera cut off again, I just noticed that. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know if it was, like, during the release of Super Mario Bros. Deluxe specifically that they changed the name to that. I feel like it might have happened earlier. But also, I think it makes sense to call them Lava Bubbles since it kind of feels more universal. At least, it feels more universal in the sense that... In the sense that it's just, like, easier to pronounce and just easier to remember, really. Like, oh, you know, they're lava bubbles. They they jump straight out of the lava. Got it. Okay. All right. And, um... Also, one thing I'm gonna have to do at some point... Well, I'm also gonna, like, do more troubleshooting with, like, the camera thing... Like I said before in the stream, it is still better than the last time I was streaming where I was using where I was using the camera with the Elgato capture car, but still some parts to be sorted out, but it's got but it's gotten better. And hopefully and hopefully things would go more smoothly well soon enough. Oh, watch out for that Lakitu! Oh yeah, and we're almost at 7-3, which means, um... And once, because uh, once I get to 7-3, then I can also talk about World C-3. They've also retconned the names of the Venus Fire Traps to Fire Piranha Plants. Okay, yeah, that, okay, that I do know. Yeah, and by the way, huh, this level has so much of that wind. Um, now, this is the part where World C-3 is considered really hard, because you get that Koopa Troopa, but on top of that, with World C-3, you get Lakitu flying around and throwing a whole bunch of spinies. So, like, if this level ever seems really hard to you, try playing this level with Lakitu floating everywhere, and not and distracting you with the spinies and throwing them everywhere. That's what makes World C-3 considered really hard. You know, I didn't need that. I don't need that fire flower. I don't need that fire flower. Get that away from me. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it lower, down, lower me down from here. All right, and now I get the coins. All right, just go. Oh, oh! I jumped. I jumped a little too. Jumped a little too fast there. <coughs> oh no! One life. And then I got World Seven to do, or World Seven Four to do. But at the very least, I think I should be done with the um, with the pathway maze type of. Uh, levels. Although there is going to be one pathway that you'll have to take one, during 8-4, but it, that's not so bad. That I can do. Okay. No, you already have one. Hmm. Okay. Now for 7-4... All right, and now... I mean, at least this is... Let's see, I don't know how hard this level is. I mean, so far it's not too bad. Oh yeah, this is one where I can actually get another life. Because once I get this Koopa, I'll just hit him, kick him, and then... Then I get an extra life from there. Which is good, because, oh, but then I get this, which I think, yeah, if I go all the way in that corner, I can narrowly avoid that. I'll probably head to bed soon. I have to go to work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, well, uh, thank you for tuning into the stream, Glass House, and yeah, and yeah, I hope you have a good night and everything. 
This dream is probably gonna continue for like... Well, I mean, that's actually, it doesn't seem like it's gonna continue for... Maybe like another half hour or so is how long this dream might continue going. Since, well, I... Yeah, stream's probably gonna go on for another uh, half hour or so, uh, depending on how long I go through World 8. But, yeah, let's see. Uh, so, Firebar! Okay, oh! Oh, God! Well, it's a good thing I have an extra life, I think. Yeah. Have an extra life, and if I can get far enough to that Koopa Troopa, then I should have get another extra life. Kaizo block! Got hit by a Kaizo block! Well, at the very least, that mushroom should come in handy when I actually get back to that level. So maybe it'll be a bit, a bit longer than a half hour before this stream actually ends. So, hmm. All right, well, huh. At the very, I mean, at the very least, <laughs> hopefully this doesn't make my sanity go wee wee wee. Cause, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, Starman, yes. Gotta run through this and, but also a lot of uh, red piranha plants. So yeah, uh, oh, watch out for the wind. Leaves everywhere, um... <sighs> okay, wait. Oh, I think that took me back. Did that take me back? I don't know where that just took me. Oh! Oh god. Oh, I think that took me to the end of this level! Okay. Jump! Huh! Oh, yeah! Right. World 7 2. Here we go. Yeah, so one thing I might consider doing too is doing it is doing a community poll asking about like best available times for me to stream. Cuz Cuz I mean, yeah, this is kind of like late night for some people, so uh yeah, I think I'll I think that's something that I'll do in the time before my next stream. Hopefully it's not like really early in the morning where I'd be super tired. But, <laughs> but I mean, I feel like maybe like, I don't know, after, I don't know, like afternoon would be more the sweet spot, maybe. Uh, if I can jump on that lack of two, that would be great. You know, screw you lack of two. Oh, but then I, actually that may not be so bad. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Taking out that piranha, uh, that uh, Koopa Paratroopa. Huh. All right. Four thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's a possibility. I mean, like either four, like it could either be like four Pacific Standard Time or like even like five. But yeah, um, that. But yeah, that's something that might work for me. I would probably, I would probably like also be sure to like you know set up and like get lunch beforehand. And of course, it would also be a day when I'm you know actually available, 
when I, when I actually have like a day off from work. Cause that's an, cause that's the main thing that I would that I would factor in with the streaming. That's kind of why there wouldn't be like it's kind of like why there wouldn't be like a full on consistent schedule where. I mean, it's kind of why there wouldn't be, like, a full-on consistent schedule where I'd be streaming every... where I'd be streaming, like, every every week at this specific time, so... Yeah, um, on this specific day, it's just... things would change around, but it's well... To, but yeah, like, anytime there's, like, another stream, that would be something that I would announce ahead of time. And also, that wind is throwing me off. It's, well, it also, like, kind of, like, slows down your momentum a bit, but I just need to get past this with one life intact, because if I can get past this with one life intact, then I can actually go through World 4, and, and if I don't die by the time I get to that Koopa Troopa uh, shell where I can get an extra life, I should be good from there. Do you have any days of the week off consistently besides the weekend? Well, I'm actually not usually off on the weekends. It's, um, I still generally work on the weekends. It's, my schedule fluctuates. It's usually, like, it's usually just like, it's, cause I mean, cause I mean, there might be some days where like, I might be off on like a Tuesday or I might be off on a Thursday. It's all like dependent on just like things moving around. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things where it just, it is what it is, and I, and like, uh, and like, you know, uh, and like if I were to like be streaming on like, a, on like any sort of like day or any day of the week, that's like, I would just like announce the day ahead of time is what I would be doing. Just like what I did with this stream in the last one. I think that, uh, I think that helps. Is it a five-day work week? Yes, it is. I work full-time, so... Yeah. Gotta have that extra money. Oh! Oh, God! It's a good thing I was able to get that extra... It's a good thing that that Koopa Troopa is there, where I can get that extra life. And also, I know that that area where I got Kaizo'd... Uh, watch out for that. Is where the super mushroom is. Oh, oh god. Oh god. All right, I survived that. Hoo wee. So I just. I'll actually wait for that to go back around. Now I'll jump over. Oh god. Okay, and now, oh, and now to get the extra life. There we go. Yeah, it's just even if I die in this part of the area, if I can just survive to get these, to get that Koopa Troopa shell and that extra life, I should be good. Okay, watch out for the lava bubble, the Poto Po. Poto boo, whatever you, whatever it's called. Oh, oh god! Almost got hit. Oh! Uh oh, did my stream disconnect? Okay, I think I noticed there was a bit of like lower, lower bars on my stream, but okay. Anyway, World 8, I'm, a, so I'm at World 8 right now. Um, I think the stream will also continue on after, like, maybe a little bit after 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But I think but I think right now I'm making pretty good time with this. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, if I stream after 10 Pacific Standard Time, then, well, huh, so be it. Because, uh, so be it. I am, I'm pretty, I'm at the last world. But I also know that World 8 can get pretty brutal, so here we go.
Okay. Oh yeah, that's where the poison mushroom is. Yeah, because I know one of these blocks has the super mushroom and the one at the very end has the poison mushroom. Well, not... And yep, caught that camera cutting out again. It also helps that I have an extra monitor connected um, that show that detect that shows it going off. So there's that too. And I did hit the A button. Well, since this is my last life on World Eight Dash One, because why not? Gotta reset the life counter. Wait a minute. Okay, that's not... Okay, that doesn't have the super mushroom. There we go. Also, there was one point where I was actually... Well, not in this run, but there was one point where I actually where I actually, like, clipped through that, uh, warp pipe when I was playing this. Oh! Oh, but I can't get up there. Why did they place it all the way up there? Okay. And now... Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and another thing about World 8 is that there's one area in 8-2 where you actually have to take a specific vine in order to complete the level. So, I... But I'm on 8-1. Oh, watch out for those bullet bills. What? What? Okay, um... Okay, there we go, 8-2. <laughs> yeah, and also looking at the TV screen on the left. There we go. Yeah, because that's one thing about this world is that you do have to take a very specific path in order to in order to proceed. And that's the specific path you have to take. Cause if you don't, you know, you, you are able to try again. It's just it's just it takes up a bit more time. Okay, so now I'm up in the clouds, and when there's when you're in the clouds, you get Lakitu. And I remember this level being, oh boy. I remember this level being hell. Okay. Huh. Uh. All right, and now, oh, poison mushroom. Watch out for that, okay. Okay, oh yeah, and then there's Kaizo blocks. Like right here, so many and they're hidden, they're like camouflaged. There's one that's camouflaged in this part of the area. Starman! Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute, but I have to wait for that Starman to run out. Because I am required to bounce on these Koopa Troopas. Because once this runs out, I'll wait for that Koopa Troopa to fly on down. And then, hmm. Yeah, because otherwise... <laughs> Otherwise, that Starman would just knock them all down. Oh, and this part of the area is where there's hidden blocks. More camouflages. How about that? But getting more coins is never a bad thing, because more coins means more lives. Oh my god, I'm almost... Oh no! 
Oh! Oh! Oh, God. Sorry about that, I didn't notice the camera disconnecting. Okay. All right, and now, oh, okay. All right, and I just, here's one that's camouflaged, okay. Alright, just careful with these. Alright, oh, uh, okay, Starman, there we go. Alright, I'll just wait for that Koopa Troopa to fly on down. Okay, and now, um... Whoa! Okay, made it. That's just great. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, maybe this is gonna go on for like another half hour till like, hmm, could go on till like 10.30, but well, just gotta keep at it. And I know there was a super mushroom in one of these. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, and I'll wait for this and... Okay. Fire flower. Okay, and now to run, jump. All right, and I'll wait for that. Hammer Brother to jump right off. Okay. Specific path. All right, and now to get that mushroom. <laughs> oh! Oh, mamma mia! Oh yeah. Also, I should probably collect as much of those coins as I can, you know, for more life. And also, is that? Oh! Get out of here, poison mushroom! I don't want ya! I don't want ya, you worthless! You're garbage! You're such garbage, man! Okay. Oh! Alright, oh, I made it. I made it. Oh, and watch out for the hammer, brother! Okay. 8-3. And actually, am I going to be able to complete this full game before 10? I mean, it's only two minutes till 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So, yeah. Oh, snap. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to keep focusing. Got to get in my zen. 
Because that's what I do when I play when I play Mario games like this, is that I gotta be in my zen. Alright. Camouflage my... Some of these camouflage blocks. Oh! Oh, God. Wait, what the hell? I did not notice this before. Have I even... Have I even gone up that vine? I don't even know. I hope this doesn't take me back or take me to... I hope it doesn't take me to a backwards warp zone or whichever. Okay, and now, oh, there we go. Starman, okay, I know where I'm at. Though I gotta wait for the Starman to run out cause I am gonna need to hop on those Koopas. I gotta hop on those Koopas. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right, and now to get these. I don't want you poison mushroom. Okay, and now, uh, come on. All right, there we go. Woo! Well, at least I got to world eight four when 10 o'clock arrives, 10 Pacific Standard Time. But I have three lives, but oh no. Oh no, being big Luigi in this sucks. Because then, like, I gotta get to that bottom platform. Uh, yeah, being big just bites you in the ass right here. Okay, and now... Alright. Now to get through that fire bar. Okay. Ah, oh, I... That fireball, that fireball, that lava bubble always gets to me in this level. But, oh, uh, I don't want to start at the beginning of the world. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, okay. What? And I gotta take the very first warp pipe. Yes, the very first war pipe. <sighs> okay. Gotta be at my utmost concentration, especially if I'm gonna get through this. Oh, and this is where there's a super mushroom, but it's probably not a good idea because that's gonna be a very narrow pathway. Oh no. Oh no. Come on! Mm. Oh god! Oh god, it get, this gets so butt clenchy. Poison mushroom. I know that's a poison mushroom. I don't want your poison mushroom. And this is one where. Oh. You have to take that bottom path, jump, and then there's that lawn fire bar, and. Also, I think it's around this area where... Oh, and then there's these... Huh! And also, thank God there's a super mushroom here. I don't think there's any other hidden blocks, so... Okay, well now I'm small Luigi again. Okay, so now don't get don't get hit. Woo wee! And there we go. That finishes the game. And now you're about to see the Famicom Disk System exclusive ending. If there's anyone who's still watching. Oh, I hear the disk system running. Peace is paid with Kingdom Save! Hurrah to Luigi, our only hero! 
This ends your trip of a long friendship. 100,000 points added for each player left. It's so funny that she says Luigi is our only hero. Yeah, because Mario doesn't exist. Thank you, Luigi! Oh, that's all it says. Thank you, Luigi. Okay. Ah. Uh. And by the way, that extra sound you're hearing is the audio from the disc system coming from this thing right here. Although that's not being shown on camera, but it's running off of the system. These extra sound chips. Wonderful. World 9-1! GG, good game! Thank you, Alvin! Glad to hear from you, too! Okay, now I don't want to get bit by that piranha plant, cuz... And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the fantasy world! You can't hit those blocks, and this is trippy as hell. And let's see if I can actually get past one level of this, cuz... If you die, then that's it. If you can't restart, it's it sends you back to the title screen. So this is just basically see how far I can get. Oh god, I almost got hit. Hammer Brothers! Oh no. Okay. Here we go! Okay, there we go, made it. Now on to 9-2. And by the way, it's gonna loop back all the way to the first one. So if I actually do complete um, the entire World 9 and I end up going back to World 9-1, I'll just die, I'll just die at the beginning of World, of World 9 because then I would have already showcased all of World 9. Okay, but at the very least, I did get further in this world than I did than I did in the Sunday Game Nights run! Oh! But I almost died. So, huh, that was close. Okay, almost got bit by that piranha plant. Uh, Did I make it? Okay, good, I made it. Whew, doing good so far. Woo! Now you're really playing with power! Oh, thank you very much, Captain N! Captain N, the Game Master! Alright, no water here. And you get the Bowser music. And I think this is one where you kinda have to take the top part, because then you get a Bowser in the middle. And yeah, you're gonna want to avoid that. Oh, but then there's this area. <sighs> oh, can I get an extra life? Uh, I don't even know if that's gonna, like, grant me even more ways of... Okay, and I got and I, I know I have to take this top path, or it's best for me to take that top path. Because if I do... If I took that path in the bottom, then, uh, wait for it, wait for it, then I would have come across that Bowser, and I probably would have died from that. And that would not have been good at all. You should meet my ally, Captain- uh, let's see. And yet, I'm still not on the Smash Brothers roster. You should meet my ally, Captain S, who represents Sega. I do remember that Captain S series that was, um, that was on Screw Attack that I did actually enjoy, but it was also really short-lived, too. And yet I'm still not on the Smash Brothers roster. Well, you can make yourself into a me character! <laughs> uh, that's, I know that's not really the same, but hey, maybe someone will create a Smash Brothers mod of Captain N where it'll have, like, you and the NES Zapper. That'll be fun. 
That'd be pretty cool. Because I know that's something that Nintendo officially wouldn't do. Okay, so that's the end of World 9. And it's gonna, and I think it's gonna loop me back to the beginning of World 9. And if it does... Yeah, beginning of World 9, two lives! Okay, so since it did that, that means I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, wow, so I did have it. So I did get an extra life. Uh, wow, okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter now, because, well, I suppose I could just keep playing until I just die, but no, I think I've shown enough of this. So, yep. Ah. <sighs> Game over! You're a super player! We hope we'll see you again, Mario and staff! <laughs> but then, once it takes me back to the title screen... Congratulations! Thank you again, Alvin! Um, and now I got two stars because this is the second time that I've completed this game on the uh, Famicom Disk System hardware. Because um, the first was also on the Sunday Game Nights team, or Sunday Game Nights channel. Uh, so yeah. Captain N, I don't want to be a me character, though, though, because I deserve to be on there with my N team members. By the way, you can you imagine what this would have done to Mario's legacy if this was released in America, oh lord. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think the decision of not releasing this game in North America was a good, was probably good in the long run because, um, because like Nintendo was trying to sell people back into gaming with the NES. And like, I don't know if this would have caused, I don't know if this would have been like an ET disaster, like with the Atari 2600. But I think it would have been a bit damaging if they released this in the States and could have even like damaged Nintendo's reputation. And they were the ones that brought back gaming after that video game crash. They were really trying to be careful with how they marketed the NES. And it was also, I think, the reason why they didn't mark, they didn't release the disc system here in the United States because the Famicom disc system, well, the NES in general. Nintendo was trying to avoid the words video games. They were trying to avoid people thinking this is a video game console. That was why they released bundle packs that included Rob and why they released um, bundle packs that included like the NES Zapper and all that. Because they were trying to market, as, market this as something that's more of a toy than a video game system. It's also why they called it the Nintendo Entertainment System as opposed to like the video computer system or whatever. Would you dare stream Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on the NES? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. That would be... I don't know about that one. That is a game that... Oh, I don't know if I want to suffer through... I don't know if I want to suffer through a game like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on the NES. Um, but... Mm, at least not live on stream, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, uh, but yeah, and part of why the Famicom disc system wasn't released in the United States is because, um, cause like the NES was already like kind of a hard sell for parents and also like, and also like the economy in the States wasn't like super great at that point. So like, so like, so it would have so I don't think they would have been able to like feasibly marketed the Famicom disc system in the United States because it would not only be like an attachment on top of like having to pay an expensive system on top of an already expensive system that has more games but it's also like you but it's also like it would also go against the very thing that Nintendo was trying to avoid marketing is marketing the NES as a computer and Famicom disc system uses like these floppy disc things. So, so over these floppy disc things. So, hmm, and that's a part of why 
and that's part of why they wouldn't even release um, that. And that's part of why they couldn't feasibly market the uh, disc system in the United States. So I think that's pretty much why they didn't release the disc system in the uh, in the states. So yeah. Um, how did Rob get into Super Smash Brothers over me? I mean, he was an accessory. I mean, my comic and TV show was basically the first thing that had video games, video game characters, and one thing before Smash Brothers did it. Yeah, I mean, that's a. I mean, that was like the first major Nintendo crossover thing um, that uh, that did happen. And I do, and I do own the complete series of Captain N. By the way, I. I own both. I own the complete series set and and that one that came with the third season with uh, Super Mario World. Um, but yeah, um, but I mean, was, but I mean, a lot of it just kind of comes into and some of the FDS features and certain games ended up being used in the late in the later issues. Yes, they did. Hmm. Speaking of the Famicom, remember when? Speaking of the Famicom, remember when James and Mike were playing it and said, insert fucking disc into the system? Um, I haven't, really, I haven't like, watched James and Mike in so long. I used to, like, follow Cinemassacre quite a bit, and I just, like, and I just, like, kind of, like, lost interest in, like, their newer content. But, yeah, um, so, the, so there was, so there was that. Uh, but, yeah, so that was my stream of Super Mario Brothers 2, The Lost Levels, that Japanese game that didn't get released in North America. And, uh, yeah. You know what's funny is people think of me and Captain S as Tiffany and Debbie Gibson on, on gaming. <laughs> That's a reference I understand. Pretty much, anyway. Tef Tiffany and Debbie Gibson, I know who they are. And I think that, and their music's still good too. Thanks for streaming. Yeah, and thank you, and thank you everybody for tuning in, including Alvin and um and Captain N and everybody. And yeah, this was fun to do. I am glad I picked this game to stream, even though there was a bit of suffering on my part. I was glad to have like did a full stream of this game. And uh yeah. You should stream flowers of Robert Mappenthorpe. <laughs> well, anyway, folks, I think this is where I'm going to end. So, good night, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in, and hope you will all enjoy the amount of suffering that I endured <laughs> uh, with how hard this game is. But I still, but I still had fun nonetheless. So. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, have I done NES Remix? I have not played that, but that's, but that's something I could maybe do uh, as well for, like, a stream or even, like, some, some, some sort of short thing. I don't know. Anyway, um, all right, well, good night. Uh, there will be more content to come, and there will also be another stream relatively soon. I will probably also stream more of the Pokemon Blue color mod from before because that's a game that I, that I that I'd like to finish up and yeah and then I'll stream more content so good night everybody and yeah I'm signing out right now